thing wobbing. Wop, wobbing, wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to yet another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be ranking 20 YouTubers in terms of how good they are. So, for preface, the F tier does not mean that they're bad. That means that they're average, and then you just kind of work your way up from there. So, the S tier means that you're the absolute best of the best, and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So, up first, we have Emorses, and this is a decent mobile player. When I played against him, he beat me roughly 30% of the time. Overall, very decent player, not the best. I would have to rank him as a C. So, up next, we have Zikoi, and he is an admin for Assassin. He has a YouTube channel with over 20,000 subs and he is an overall decent player I think he's slightly above average because he can hit his shots more often than uh, well an average player and uh, I personally believe that he deserves the D tier so up next we have Rexon and this was very hard to gauge because one I never played against him in a real game and two he doesn't have much gameplay videos so for the sake of the video I'm going to rank him in D tier behind Zikoi so if someone's in front, that means that they're slightly better. So I believe Zikoi would probably beat Rexon. Up next, we have Jay Fuego, and he's a relatively well-known YouTuber. He has over 20,000 subs. And although he doesn't play the game that much anymore, when he did, he was a very good player. He hit shots very consistently, overall good player. He, he was just good, you know? I, I'd give him a B. He's not quite A-tier material, but uh, yeah, he was good at the game. What else can I say? Up next we have Call Me Daily. He's a YouTuber with roughly 600 subs. You know he he's a solid player. I believe he's well above average. So uh, I'd probably put him one behind Emorses. Overall, very solid player. He could hit his shots, and uh, that's where I believe he belongs. Up next we have Icy Cloud, and he is a YouTuber with just recently 900 subs. He's very close to 1K subs, and I've seen him play here and there. He's a very good player. He does play on mobile, so I do believe that that hinders his ability to actually play the game, kind of like Emorses. But overall, I'd rank him the C tier behind uh, Daily. Up next on the list is someone I really just recently found because I was you know looking for youtubers to include in this list and this is a user called Grinch uh, he's not very good at the game but he has the sub requirement and uh, I'd have to put him in the F tier I believe he's just barely average up next we have myself and uh, although in streams I don't hit my shots very consistently keep in mind I am playing against players who are above average and uh, if you ever see me in games against average people, I will almost always dominate that server. I would rank myself as an A. Up next we have Ryan, and once again, there wasn't much gameplay to gauge this off of. Decent player, I'd probably rank him in the C tier right behind Icy Cloud. Up next we have Ant, and this is a YouTuber with over 2 million subs. He just recently returned to Assassin, and I believe he's actually a decent player. Uh, I believe he is D tier. He hits shots uh, somewhat decently, overall good player. Up next we have a YouTuber who is well known for AFK farming the hell out of Assassin and this is Rice Roll. Once again the main issue is I don't have gameplay to gauge this off of and to be honest I don't even think he plays the game that much. So uh, I'd probably have to rank him the F tier in front of Grinch because well Grinch is just that bad. Up next we have JJ and he is one of the best assassin players. I don't quite believe he's above me but uh, I'm gonna put him in A tier. Very consistent player, he's gone for top 10 way more times than I have. He just has a lot of time in his hands but overall very good player. Up next we have Gaming Plex, and uh, once again, I had the issue of having to find videos to gauge my picks off of. I've never played against her, I feel like she's just a decent player. I'm going to be ranking her in the D tier behind Ant. I know that she's gone top 10, apparently. I, I haven't seen it, but apparently she has, so she's got to be a good player, but I believe she probably got that based off of the amount of time that she put into the game. Up next we have Zovams, and uh, very good player actually. Uh, he hits shots very consistently. I, I really don't have much to say about him except he's good. 
I'd probably rank him one behind Josh though because Josh just I, I, I believe he would win in a 1v1 against Silvams in his prime. Up next we have Ethan and although he is no longer an assassin YouTuber I do believe he deserves to be on this list and personally I would rank him in between myself and JJ. Up next we have Weirdbred and uh, this is a YouTuber who does not play the game that much he kind of just plays it to make videos which is fine but uh, I'd probably rank him above Rice Roll over here. He isn't the best player, but he can win games here and there. Up next is Meyer Wurtsky, and this is probably the best player in the game in my opinion. When I played against him back in 2017, he would almost always destroy me. And keep in mind, Meyer played on an Xbox controller. I, I don't believe any of us deserve to say anything about that. Like, the amount of accuracy that he had on Xbox is just incredible. Like, just truly. So, I believe he's an S tier. I think he's one of the top 10 best assassin players of all time, if not the best. Up next, we have MMR, and I haven't seen much of his gameplay. I know that he's decent at the game, but uh, in my opinion, I'd probably rank him either above or below JJ, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna rank him just slightly below. Up next on the list, we have yet another top 10 assassin player of all time, and this is Master Chief Covenant. I easily have to put him in the S tier. He is just really good at the game. He's good at almost every game that he plays when it has to do with aiming and, you know, he just deserves it. I do believe he is slightly worse than Meyer. I believe Prime Meyer could probably beat Prime uh, Master. It's really tricky with the M words, but uh, very close. Like, you could almost just put Master in front if you wanted to. But once again, for the sake of the video, I do believe that Meyer is better than Master. And lastly on the list, we have the biggest assassin YouTuber, No Data. And in my opinion, I believe he is in between JJ and Ethan. Data has very good aim, he's very consistent with his shots. It's just, I don't really think he's the best assassin player. I think he's near the top. He can win almost every game that he's in, but uh, I don't know. I, I definitely think that Ethan's better. Hell, you can even rank Ethan above me if you wanted to, but uh, this is my list. These are 20 players all ranked in Assassin. If you guys want to see another one, I could probably find another 20 people with over 500 subs and do another one. So let me know what you guys think about it. You guys can do your own list. I will link this in the description down below, and you guys can uh, tweet me on Twitter with your guys' list. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace out.